Hey everyone, this is Gene, and today we're going to discuss the Photoshop interface. I'll show you where to find everything and how to navigate around the software. When you first look at Photoshop, it can be a bit overwhelming. Everywhere you look, there are menus, icons, and panels. Once you have a basic understanding of how everything is laid out, though, you can turn the chaos into efficiency. Let's start out with the most basic area first, the document window. Most of you will have seen this type of interface before in a web browser. Well, it's the same basic idea here. Each new project that you open will show up in a different tab or window. You simply select the tab of the image that you'd like to work with, and that brings it into focus. You can close and rearrange the windows the same way that you would in a browser. Before we move on to the application menu, I'd like to make a note of a subtle difference between PC and Mac. On PC, the menu is located at the top left corner of the application bar, rather than on the main desktop bar where it appears on the Mac. There are also a couple of subtle differences between how the menus are arranged. We're going to be covering all this in depth in the next section. So in the top left corner, you're going to find shortcuts to launch both Adobe Bridge and Mini Bridge. To the immediate right of these sections, you'll also find options to alter your view. You can elect to show rulers, guides, and a grid. You can control the zoom and change the arrangement of your image windows. Workspace presets and a link to Adobe CS Live are off to the far right. Right below this top section is the control panel. When you select a tool to use, additional options will appear in this area where you will be able to customize the tool behavior. The panels are located on the right side of the screen. These panels give us information relating to our image and they allow us to fine tune our work. We'll be discussing some of the more commonly used panels in depth later in this section. The panel windows are tabbed just like the work area and they function largely in the same way. One main difference is the ability to minimize the panels and then access them using simple icons. This is going to give you some extra space and it's also helpful if you're working on an image in landscape view. Finally, the tools menu is off to the very left edge of the screen. It contains all of the icons for the various tools that you'll be accessing in Photoshop. Well that's all for now. Please comment, rate, and subscribe below. If you have any Photoshop questions, please send them to requests at mahalo.com.